Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new playthrough of a game called Seduce Me. So this game is apparently like a dating sim. So I'm really excited because I haven't played one of those in like a really, really long time. The last one I played was a dinosaur dating sim. So yeah, can't wait to get started. Also, please excuse my voice. I am currently getting over a cold or something. So yeah, I'm gonna sound a little stuffy, but let's go ahead and play. This is a fictional interactive narrative. Any character resemblances to real life people are purely coincidental. Okay. Also, please know that the following game is for PG-16 audiences. Please know that sexual violent themes are explored in the game. Oh. Okay. Trigger warnings, abuse, implied rape, and suicide. Oh, Jesus. Okay, this is very weird. Please Why, enjoy! Huh? Oh. My, aren't you a gorgeous sight? Me? Can I be honored enough to know your name? Uh, sure. I mean... Anyway, it's not fucking Mika. Mmm. A lovely name. For a lovely person like you. Oh, Wonderful. thank you. You sound so creepy, but it's okay. You're, you're, you're like, complimenting. Eric, do your job. Very well. This game was produced by Seraphim Entertainment under the direction of Michaela Laws and is powered by Renpai Visual Novel Engine. We truly hope you'll enjoy this story. I know I'll enjoy it since you'll be in it. Oh dear Eric. God. Fine, fine. <laughs> Farewell, my sweet. Go, God! Come on! Is that all you got? Wanna try me, asshole? <laughs> he sounded like Cartman. Asshole! <laughs> Sorry, it's serious. Crap! Missed. Let's retreat for now. N no kidding. Let's get out of here. That's right. You better run, you stupid punks. Stay out of our territory. Call it fate or call it coincidence. That one moment of violence started a chain of events I will never forget. This formula. Created in the 70s is one of the most important in the field of financial theory. European style options and is widely used by option marketers, though there are some discrepancies that are now corrected with the modern viewpoint. Done? Personally, I love the sound of it, the way the raindrops fell, like the soft tapping of fingers. It was so soothing, even looking at the droplets hit the glass of the window was strangely calming. For this reason, I felt lucky for having a seat next to the window, though I did spend more time staring outside than I did paying attention in class. Oh, this is me! Oops. The lectures in class were pretty boring. Mrs. Phillips' voice wasn't sephoric, but I just wasn't interested in what she was saying. And since it was the period right before lunch, all I could think about was doing other things with my free time. Honestly, I didn't much care for economics. Sure, I had good grades in this class, but... It was only because I read the textbook and did my assignments as I had to. I was only taking this class because it was mandatory. If it were up to me, I probably would have just taken another class. Luckily, it was my senior year, so after this semester it would mean the end of high school courses forever. Thank God for that. I didn't hate high school. It was just kind of mundane how the days drifted on and on as if there was no end to it. The one thing, the only thing I really enjoyed about going to school was meeting my friends and hanging out with them, but that was kind of it. In short, I was done with high school. The start of second semester brought a note of finality to it. I had already applied to many universities the semester prior, and I was expecting a reply sometime in the next few months. It seemed like the start of something new, something that would change. That is, if things could change. I stared at the faint outline of raindrops in the distance. For now, I was stuck in class. Miss Anderson. What happened to the art production? <laughs> Mrs. Phillips' raised voice interrupted my train of thought. Just when I was thinking about class, I quickly turned my head to face the teacher. Hopefully she didn't pick me because she noticed I was spacing out. Um, yes ma'am? Would you care to name the equation I set up on the blackboard? Oh, I, I think I read about that in the textbook last night. It should be... The Black-Scholes model formula. Very good as always, Miss Anderson. God. Anderson, it followed me wherever I went. 
most people didn't really know me by my first name, but rather by my surname. No doubt, since the surname was the trademark of the internationally famous and philanthropic Anderson Family Toys, and because the founder was my own grandfather. Suzu, one of my best friends, turned around and proudly gave me a punch to the shoulder. Kick ass, girl. I, j I only got an answer right, but okay. <laughs> From beside me, I heard Naomi, another one of my best friends, clearing her throat in obvious disapproval of Suzu's work choice of words. <clears throat> she means good job, Miss Capini. I cared to tell me who the creators of this formula were. Uh, some guys named Black and Shoals. <clears throat> Fisher Black and Myron Shoals. Very good, Miss Patterson. <laughs> God, they're sure. so cliche. Better study next time, Suzu. Be like us and study once in a while. Suzu rolled her eyes and slouched in her chair as Naomi gave her a small smirk. She always pouted when Naomi showed her up. That's the end of today's lecture. Now, let's separate into groups and work on your projects. Remember, everything is due on Monday. Go ahead now. Before I knew it, Suzu and Naomi had scooted their desks to align with mine, and we turned into the three musketeers. Whenever the teacher lets students decide on groups, we always group together in our little trio. It was a sheer stroke of luck that we all managed to be in the same class, so we had to at least take care of the take the opportunity and stick together as much as we could. Besides, we were most comfortable around each other than, say, compared to being around any other classmate. It just made sense for us to put our heads together for any kind of project. I took out the poster we were working on and rolled it open onto the three desks. We were pretty much finished with fulfilling most of the guidelines for the project, though we did have to add a few finishing touches here and there. After working on making the project Sorry. After working on making the poster a little bit prettier, we sat back and inspected our work to see what we still had to do. Naomi, as usual, was the first to look for any issues. She lightly tapped a pencil against her chin, staring intently at the project. Alright, so let's see. We finished the budgeting section, the building leasing, and the cost for labor. What else do we need? Susa straightened up to look at the poster and stroked her chin. After a few seconds, her face brightened and she spoke up. How about a company name? Huh? Did we really skip over that? Of course we did! You always go straight into the logical statistics and stuff that you completely skip over the oh fact. Man, we need a name like for our good project. Ugh, at least we caught it this time. What do we name it? Hmm, not sure. What do you think? Uh... It always came down to me. Whenever there was something to be named or titled, I was the master in ending decision. Even when I didn't want to be. I like Trinity Corporations! That is way too predictable. How about... The Dragon Company? What do dragons have to do with our project? Oh god. What? It's a totally unpredictable name. It's hot. But our company sells bubble gum. <laughs> Neither of those names work. We said we can't it's... produce spicy bubble gum. <sighs> what do you think? Yeah. What do you think? Oh my god, don't ask me. I'm really bad at doing this. Both of them looked up at me expectantly, even though I wasn't quite sure myself. I didn't really want to choose sides, but if it were up to me, I would say... Oh man, um... Spicy bubblegum, yeah, we could, but I don't understand Trinity Corporation. I really don't. Um, Dragon Company. Booyah! Dragon Company it is! Alright, now that we've decided on a name... I'm glad she's a good sport what? about it. As we ended our name game, a giggle scrambled my, thro my thoughts. <laughs> huh? Who is that? Ignore it. It's just Lisa. I looked over my shoulder to see her laughing with her circle of friends, mostly comprised of popular people that were practically friends with everyone in the school. And as a result, everyone in the school knew them. In the center of it all was Lisette White. She sat with a posture that indicated she was still working, but that she was also ready to casually chat about her day. What kind of pose is that? <laughs> what kind of pose? I don't, I don't know what kind of pose that is. She had an endearing balance of charismatic and awkward, which was readily apparent when she first talked to someone. It was easy to make her smile and laugh, and she was quite the comedian as well. Basically, she was perfect. Not that she was like a robot or something, but she was the student that everyone else wanted to be. Lisette was bright, easygoing, and above all, above all, had her future laid out right in front of her. 
Unlike the average student, she knew what she wanted to do after high school and, as a result, she was confident and ambitious, even though sometimes it could rub a lot of people the wrong way. Moreover, I had known her ever since I was young, but it had ultimately resulted in a rival rivalry that continued today. Oh, of course! Of course! Oh man, so predictable. Of course my friends knew what was between us, and upon seeing me glance at her, they shifted their attention to her. She doesn't even look like she's working, in my opinion. She probably is, but she's too much of a stuck-up priss to allow herself friends. to look like she's actually doing Squad. <laughs> oh, come on, Suzu. She may be a little off-putting, but she's not the giant priss that you're making her seem to be. The day she isn't a priss is the day I turn into you. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, man. Never mind. It's about time! Let's bail! I don't know anyone who talks like this. Unsurprisingly, Susie was the first out of the classroom, slinging her backpack over her shoulder with ease as she quickly strolled out the door. The seat isn't even closest to the exit, and she always manages to be the first one out of the door. I don't think I'll ever understand that. Mm. Me and you both. She gave me a smile, as if relieved by the fact that I felt the same way as she did. See? Why can't she just be normal like the two of us? Well, I wouldn't say we're normal. It's Suzu Naomi. Think about it. Very true! <laughs> Man, you guys are slow. Are you coming or what? We heard you the first time. Not everyone has rocket boosters attached to their legs when the bell rings. <laughs> are you kidding me? That class was ridiculously boring. Even Miss Valedictorian here was dozing off a bit. <laughs> I do have to admit I was spacing out, and just because I answered one question does, doesn't mean I'm automatically the valedictorian. Okay, so it wasn't too interesting, but you should at least pay attention when Phillips is talking about the important parts. So you finally admit it! We're finally on the same wavelength. Welcome to the club, Patterson. Please. Don't call me by my last name. This isn't the classroom. And never in a million years will we ever see things eye to eye. <laughs> <laughs> Despite this, they both burst out in laughter. Normally, anyone would think that opposites like them wouldn't ever associate with each other, but even though they were so different, their friendship somehow made a lot of sense. Doesn't make sense to me. Maybe they were just perfect compliments, or personality just didn't have to dictate the pos possibility of their friendship. After all, we, th we, have we three have been best friends since preschool. I cannot talk today. Oh, grah! All right, so where are we heading to first? Cafeteria? I think we can all agree that we're really hungry, especially after hearing about our company's line of deliciously spicy bubblegum. When does the seducing come in? I really want to know when I get seduced. Who would even buy that? I wonder. Me? I would pay good money to get a taste of it. <laughs> you do like spicy food, after all. We entered the cafeteria, a bustling room full of aromas of different kinds of food. As we got in line, we ordered our meals and chatted freely. Cajun fries and the spicy chicken burger for me. That's my definition of a good meal. I'll take a tuna sandwich and some juice. You're probably going to need water or something to curb all that spicy flavor, Suzu. I can't be tamed by the likes of that. If it's spicy, then it's gotta be all or nothing. She's a real daredevil, huh? <laughs> You're crazy! Hell yeah, I'm crazy. I think I'm getting a migraine. I think I'll go with it. Oh, I'll go with... Um... Yeah, mac and cheese. That sounds good. Once we got our food, we settled down at one of the empty tables, putting our backpacks aside to finally dig into the food. Suzu leaned back in her chair, tilting it back so that she could rest her feet on the table by her food. All right then, is there anything we want to talk about? <laughs> Bored already? I know, let's talk about... Say boys and I will never speak to you ever again. <laughs> Aww, why not? That's seducing! What's so interesting about talking about guys? It's not like any of us are going to get boyfriends anytime soon. Hold up, girlfriend! Don't talk to me like that! Not with that attitude, we won't! We don't know that! What if one of us does get a boyfriend? Like that's going to happen, Naomi. Look at us. I'm a tiny Italian. You're a ditzy blonde. Oh, you're oh. oh. Hey! <laughs> no offense. And Anderson here. Well, 
I guess she could land a boyfriend or girlfriend if she wants. <gasps> Yay! I can get a girlfriend! Or girlfriend? She can be a lesbian if she wants. <laughs> True. It's okay, Suzu. I'm not sure I want a boyfriend yet. Why not? It's our senior year. Might as well get a boyfriend. Maybe she's just not interested in a relationship, Suzu. Well... It wasn't really about wanting a relationship, but more of... There was no one interesting enough to be in a relationship with. Been there, girl. Don't get me wrong, I'm an open person, but... There were not many interesting guys in the school to go out with. Who knows? Time will tell. Or will it? Tune in next time for more Seduce Me.